Hello and welcome to Connecting You to You Radio, where we tune in to receive the messages of health and well-being that are being broadcast from the soul. I'm your host, Lisa Warner, author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing. I show you how to heal your body naturally by combining your body's innate intelligence with the wisdom of your own soul so that you can break through the mental programming of limiting beliefs that cause disease and make healing your body and changing your life simple. Welcome. Welcome to another Lunch with Lisa. I am Lisa Warner. I am the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing. So today, let's talk about healing and ascension and how they are deeply interconnected. Healing is the process of restoring inner peace and harmony restoring perfect balance between body, mind, and soul. Body, mind, and soul are not three separate things. They are three parts of who we are as beings. And we cannot separate those three aspects of self. So right now on this planet, we are going through a massive awakening. This is the time of the great awakening. This is when we remember who we are as grand beings of light. We are angels in human form. We are non-physical beings having a physical experience as the non-physical being. There is nothing in physicalness that has any power over us. Nothing in the physical realm can harm us as the soul. This, this physical incarnation is simply an experience that we, the eternal souls, are having. This is a learning experience. And when we finish with this particular experience, we move on to another experience. We are eternal beings. We do not cease to exist when the physical body stops functioning and these physical bodies are designed to function for far 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 longer than they are currently functioning but these bodies can only function to the level of our consciousness we are creator beings created in the quote likeness and image of god that means not that we look like god not that god looks like a person god is not a, a person it's a beingness life itself is the creator of all life we have the ability to create our lives in any way we choose. But we have been told what to create. We have been told that a long life is 80 years, maybe 90 if you're lucky, a few people reach triple digits, but not very many. Because most, most humans believe that they'll be dead by the time they're 90. So they end up creating that. 
it happens as we believe. And we have been told what to believe for a very, very long time that you have to go to school until you're 18, and then you have to go to a secondary, a college, a university in order to be somebody. You need more education. We need to pay your taxes. You need to get a job. You need to, you know, blah, blah, blah. All of the things that we have been told which ultimately are really not the divine design. So at this point in time, we're starting to recognize that something has been terribly amiss on this planet. We're not meant to live in states of war, in states of poverty, destruction, death, pollution, garbage, crime, punishment. That is not the divine design. That's not how earth and humanity were originally designed to be. But we have been in this state of fallen consciousness. Our original consciousness is divine. Our original consciousness is connected to everything in the universe. Our original consciousness allows us to live in peace and harmony with the world around us, with the plants, with the animals, with each other. And when we're living in peace and harmony with the world around us, there is no stress. There is no depression. There is no struggle and strife. There's beauty, there's peace, there's ease, and there's health. When we have inner peace, when we are fully at peace, within ourselves and with our surroundings. Health is the only option. It's the inner turmoil that is being reflected in our bodies as disease. This isn't just like some theory. This is actual scientific fact. This is biological law, is that the mind and the body and the soul are deeply interconnected. You cannot change one without changing the others. Our minds are easily changed and distorted. It's easy for us to think other people's thoughts. It's easy for us to get pointed in a specific direction. And then we just look in that one direction and we believe that that direction is the only direction and that's the right direction. But when we're focused in only one direction, we're not seeing the full picture. So we have been shown what to create in our lives for thousands of years. We have been shown that you have to fight, that life's a struggle, that you have to get educated, that there are experts in every field and you have to, you have to consult an expert because if you're not an expert in the field, then you don't know anything about that. We're all experts in everything. At the soul level, the soul knows all the answers. The mind, on the other hand, has been taught all of these rules, all of these regulations, how you're supposed to be, what you're supposed to do, when you're supposed to do it. And the mind has become this box, this invisible prison 
that we live inside this invisible prison. Suffering occurs in the mind before it occurs in the body. Our bodies are not being attacked by diseases. Our bodies are embodying our consciousness. They are the physical form of our energy. Our thought patterns and our consciousness combine as our energy. And when our energy gets knotted up, when it gets distorted, the physical body shows us where the knots are in our consciousness, where we're believing I'm not okay. It's impossible for us to be not okay. We are souls, we are grand beings of light, pure consciousness. But we've been convinced that we're not okay. We've been convinced that we don't have enough. We have been convinced to create poverty, war, disease. We are creators. It's time for us to ascend, to move our consciousness up into our higher level intelligence, into our soul level intelligence. This is the time of the great awakening on the planet. And that great awakening is multidimensional. It means that we are clearing the fields of amnesia that cause us to forget who we are. It causes us to think and believe that we're mere mortals. We're not mere anything and we're definitely not mortal. We are immortal beings, grand beings of light who are animating physical bodies. We have been taught that if it's not physical, it's not real. Well, this is not true. Energy is generating everything in physical form. Your energy is generating everything in your life, including your physical body. Your physical body is the outward manifestation of your energy. So if you are living in states of fear, doubt, guilt, shame, blame, I'm not okay, what's going to happen? I don't have enough. All of these negative thought patterns are negatively impacting your physical body. When we are fully at peace, Energy just flows. Ideas flow. We don't worry about where our next meal is coming from, or we don't worry about what other people are thinking about us. And we don't worry about our bodies because we trust our bodies. We love our bodies. We are at peace in our bodies. But when we are not at peace within our bodies, our bodies suffer. And our bodies directly reflect the suffering that's going on in our minds, in our consciousness. So not only are we starting to wake up and realize that we are grand beings of light. We are not mere mortals. We are also waking up to realize there is far more to life than what meets the eye. Our eyes are shown pictures day in and day out on the tell a uh, visions that box that everybody is trained to plop down in front of and just zone out, 
be shown images all day, watch the news, watch the movies, watch the shows, watch this, distract yourself from your life. Well, all of those distractions are going straight into our consciousness and we're, start, we're believing these images of war and crime and punishment and these people versus those people. And we're shown images of distortion all day, every day. And when we start buying into these images, we start closing down our divine awareness. And we start to realize we've been placed in a soul prison. And when we feel like we're in a soul prison, when we feel like there's not enough, I don't know what to do, there's something wrong with me. All of these are not thoughts that a grand being of light would think. So we're starting to not only wake up to realize that we are far more than these physical bodies, we're also starting to wake up to see that there is a soul prison happening here on this planet. And we're all, all of humanity is being placed in there. But we don't need to live in there. When we learn how to be sovereign, when we learn how to free ourselves, when we learn how to restore inner peace, it brings peace to our external environment. This is the crux of healing. Healing isn't about fixing our bodies. Our bodies are not broken. Healing is about bringing body, mind, and soul back into wholeness. Physical body healing happens after the mental and emotional healing happens. We have to heal the non-physical parts of ourselves before for the physical part will heal. We have been taught many, many, many wrong ideas about our bodies. And the only way to overcome that is to go within. Start to discern for yourself what's true when the doctors tell you something and it's like oh that doesn't feel good that uh, is your inner guidance system going hey take another look at that because it's not true we're taught to override our own inner guidance system it is time to ascend. It is time to break through these barriers. It's time for us to take down the walls of the soul prison and set ourselves free. Ascension, moving our, our energy, our vibration, our consciousness up to a higher level, to the level of our higher self. The part of us that already knows the answers. All answers lie within. When you take the time to get to know yourself, when you take the time to start learning how to manage energy, you start to manage your own energy differently than before. You start to tap into your own higher awareness, the awareness of your soul. 
your soul is far wiser than your human. Both aspects are true. You are the soul and you are having a, the experience of being human. Both aspects. The human self is the physical self. The soul is the non-physical self. You, we've all been taught to ignore the non-physical stuff. If it's not physical, it's not real. Well, unfortunately, it's very, very real. And when we ignore the non-physical stuff, we start to ignore the non-physical self. And that's where all of our power lies. Our power is within. Our power has nothing to do with power over, has nothing to do with force. It has to do with love. The strongest power in the entirety of all that is, is love. And we, when we are in that state of love, healing happens. Health happens. Beauty, peace, ease, prosperity, thriving, creativity, all of that just happens when we are in these higher states of consciousness, when we ascend out of the darkness, out of the fear, out of the doubt, out of the guilt, out of the shame, the blame, the anger, when we rise above all of that. This is the process of ascension. Ascension is rising above. It's time to rise above disease. It's time to rise above the trauma, the drama, the chaos, the pain, the fear. We do not need to live in these states anymore. Are you willing to start actually healing yourself? No one else can heal you. Your healing is up to you. There is no doctor in all of creation that can heal you. No shaman, no healer. They can create the space for you to heal yourself. That's what a true healer is. They hold the vision of you being well so that you can then match that vision. But they don't do the healing for you. No one else can do the healing for you. Your body already knows what to do. Your body is not the problem. Any of the distortions in your mental and emotional bodies are being reflected in your physical body. Ascending beyond the ideas that your body is broken. Ascending beyond the chaos, the confusion, the strife. This is where healing happens. When we start to love and trust our bodies, when we start to operate in our higher level awareness, this is all possible. This is what's happening on the planet en masse right now. Humanity is awakening. Ascension, full on happening right here, right now. Are you ready to ascend? Are you ready to move beyond disease? Are you ready to create a disease-free world? It's completely possible because disease is the illusion. It's not real. It's not what's happening to our bodies. Your body is on your side. 
your body is doing exactly what it's designed to do. We're being told to fight the body. We're being told that what the body is doing is disease. We're being led to believe that our physical bodies are malfunctioning. This is an illusion. It's not true. But we have to ascend our awareness. We have to move our awareness out of the, this is true. It's not true. We have to ascend. We have to move beyond disease. We have to move beyond our victim mentality. And we have to heal ourselves. We have to restore inner peace. And each one of us is responsible for doing that for ourselves. And when we do that for ourselves, we start creating heaven on earth. Peace on earth comes from inner peace. And inner peace comes from ascending our consciousness moving our consciousness up into the realms where we are at peace with all of creation, at peace with existence itself, namely with our own existence. As the grand beings of light we are. Healing is not about fixing the body. Healing is about bringing the whole being back into alignment, into harmony, bringing body, mind, and soul back together as one in truth, in divinity. I hope this was helpful. If you are looking for whole being healing, Whole being healing will start, my 12-week course will start in September of 2024. So at the time of this recording, it's about six weeks away. So if you are interested in that, please reach out. Find me at connectingyou2you.com. Find out how you can participate in whole being healing. If you're ready to ascend your consciousness and move away from these paradigms of disease and start taking your health, your happiness, your thriving into your own hands where it belongs. Well, I hope this was helpful to you. Thanks for watching another Lunch with Lisa. I'm Lisa Warner. I am the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing and the creator of Whole Being Healing. Much love to all of you. Until next week. Create for yourselves a great week because you can. Bye for now. Thanks for listening to this episode of Connecting You to You Radio. If you've enjoyed this podcast, please subscribe and share it with your friends. Are you ready to discover more about how simple healing your body can actually be when you do it from the higher wisdom of your soul? To learn more about what I do and how you can work with me, visit ConnectingYouToYou.com and get on my mailing list to be the first to know about my latest offerings. If you'd like to interact with me on Facebook, please join my group, Soul Sourced Healing. Check the show notes below for these links and more. I hope to see you again next time on Connecting You To You Radio.